everyone, welcome back to Chow. To those that have already subscribed to this channel, many, many thanks again. For those that have not yet subscribed, click that subscribe button below. We post videos on all things coffee and mug tea. And today is a coffee day. We are going to make ice mocha three different ways. One is using instant coffee for those that have access to only instant coffee. Another way is using brewed coffee. I am going to use coarse ground coffee. And finally, we are going to make use of espresso using freshly ground coffee beans. So three different ways so that you can all make one depending on what equipment or what type of coffee you have available to you. So I am going to make the recipe standard to all three of them. This time we are going to use chocolate syrup instead of cocoa powder. For those of you that have not yet seen how to make chocolate syrup the Chow Way, check out the video link above. We are also going to use our own homemade chocolate sauce. Once again, if you haven't seen yet how to make this absolutely delicious chocolate sauce, check the link above. You will surely love this. First, let us brew our coarse ground coffee because it will take four minutes to brew it. So for this, I'm not using a French press, I'm using a simple cloth strainer or what I call tea sock. Just to make sure it is sterilized, soak it in hot water, make sure it's clean and then we can start brewing our coffee. What I need is two scoops of coarse ground coffee. Scoops is about four teaspoons, not a tablespoon, it's a coffee scoop. So two scoops of coarse ground coffee. You can put the coarse ground coffee into your cup or to make it less messy, I am going to pour it into my tea sock. There you go, two scoops just to make it very strong because I only need two ounces of brewed coffee. So pour about three ounces of hot water into your tea sock and then we are going to wait for this to brew for four minutes. So the time starts now. First make our milk foam. I am going to use a manual milk frother. Check out the video on how to make milk foam using three different ways and this time I'm going to use a manual milk frother and I'm just going to put I'm just going to put a third of my cup full and then I use the frother pump until it is harder to pump that means your milk has doubled in size but there you go and the milk foam doesn't last very long, so to keep it longer, you must put it in the refrigerator or in an ice box. So I'm going to keep this in an ice box so that it will give me a longer milk foam. So we are going to use that a bit later. Let's start making our ice mocha using instant coffee. For this, I am going to use only two teaspoons of my instant coffee. You can make it stronger, but two teaspoons is perfect for commercial purpose. Because this is mocha, you would like the chocolate and the coffee to have an equal balance. Two ounces of hot water to dissolve our coffee. So this is equivalent to two shots of coffee. Give it a stir, dissolve the coffee in the hot water. Then two ounces of our chocolate syrup. Two ounces of chocolate syrup and two ounces of fresh milk. So it's two, two, two. Two ounces of coffee, two ounces of our homemade chocolate syrup and two ounces of fresh milk. So this is your mocha mix using instant coffee. Let's make our mocha mix using our brewed coffee. So this is now brewed four minutes and I'm going to squeeze the coffee juice out of my tea sock. There you go. Two ounces of the chocolate syrup and also two ounces of my fresh milk. So very simple to remember. 
two, two, two. So once again, give this a stare. Two ounces of espresso there, two ounces of chocolate syrup, just enough. I've finished one whole portion of my chocolate syrup. Two ounces of chocolate syrup there and another two ounces of fresh milk. So your two, 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 once again, for espresso. Coffee using freshly brewed espresso. Um, to be honest, I am now confused which coffee is used where. This is like blind tasting. So let's start with this one. Mm. By the looks of it, it looks like a regular brewed coffee, but let's give it a try. Definitely regular brewed coffee. Tastes so good. This is perfect for those that do not want their coffee to be very, very strong. It's got that distinct taste that is only associated with using Thai coarse ground coffee. Give this a try. Second, well, it can only be instant or espresso. Okay, let's give this a try. Instant coffee for sure. Very delicious. The recipe that I used here is different from the recipe that I have been showing you in other video clips. So this is a more premium mocha mix. This got to be espresso. Mmm. Very strong coffee. Taste of real coffee for sure. Which one is my favorite among the three? Anything with coffee and chocolate is my favorite. So I have no preference among the three of them. It really just depends on what coffee is available for you and also what budget you're set to and what price you are willing to sell it for. Next video clip, I will be showing you another mocha recipe, this time white chocolate mocha. So stay tuned. Once again, there is something for everyone. Choose which one works best for you, your milk tea and coffee shop, or simply for yourself, for your home, for your friends and family. Like and subscribe. I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.